So here we go. I am going to show you, Annette, and anybody else, how you can put a watermark on your videos. Now keep in mind, this does not work with the latest QuickTime player. You have to use QuickTime 7.3, okay? Not this QuickTime 10.0, which is the latest. So make sure they use QuickTime 7 specifically 7.6.3 and that's QuickTime Pro. All right, so what you need to do is you need to, need to take your logo, open it in Photoshop, and you want to edit it, et cetera, et cetera, to about 350 pixels or so. Save it as a PNG. Once you save it as a PNG, then you launch QuickTime Player 7 you can uh, either open up the video first, like this right here, or you can go ahead and open up the logo. It makes no difference. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna end up with one window that is your PNG window, you see right here, and another window which is your video target window. So now we're gonna click on our PNG logo file window, and we're gonna go up to edit and we're going to say select all. You can also put push um, the Apple A key if you want for a shortcut or you can just go ahead and do the drop down menu. So we're going to select all. Once we select all then we go back up and now we're going to do um, I call it Apple C so control C. Actually it's not even control it's the Apple key. So you want to copy it. Okay, once you copy it, then you click over on your target video, and now you go back up to edit, and you go to add to selection and scale. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our logo embedded in our video. Now, the problem with this, it looks not so great. Like, here's what it would look like. But that's not what we want. So now... Go ahead and you want to um, do one of two things. You can either use a shortcut key, which I use all the time, um, or you can go up to the, the uh, window again. So what we're looking for is show movie properties, which is Apple J. Once that opens up, then you want to take, and you'll notice that you've got some tracks here. Video track one is the actual dog video soundtrack, Video track two is our logo. So now go down to the very bottom, see where it says transparency, none allow dithering. Click on that and drop down to straight alpha blend. Okay, that'll get rid of that white box. Also, you want to turn up your transparency. And then I specifically for this specific project, I'm going to offset the logo by 45 pixels to get it centered up. Now, most people do a smaller logo to the left-hand side. So let's just say we wanted to do something like that. We can change our logo. Our logo right now is 550 pixels. Maybe I want to bump it down to 275. I'm going to preserve the aspect ratio. Now see how my logo is smaller? Since I have offset set up, it sets it to the offset. But this would be right here. If you look at this location, this is a really good location for standard watermarks. This specific video that I'm doing is a little bit different though because I want to put this in the middle and I'm trying to make a big bold statement about my, uh, my uh, video that I'm doing. Okay. Anyway, once you do that, you can go hit the space key or hit the play button to see how your video is going to play out. Okay. Now, I think maybe that logo is a little bit too bright, so I can change this transparency level, hit play, and now you'll notice my logo has changed colors, okay? But I like it a little bit bright, so that's how I'm going to keep it. Okay, so that's how you do the uh, watermark logo. Then from there, you can go ahead and go to export. And then from that point, you can export it however you would like to export it. You can just leave it as save, and that'll export it as the settings you had before. But I always click options, and I go look and see, because 
I change my export settings all the time. A lot of my stuff I do in HD. Um, this specific video I'm going to do in VGA, which is 640 by 480, which is a good standard size kind of camera you're using. Okay? So then you just go ahead and you hit OK and name your file whatever you want to name it. And you hit save and that's it. Okay, that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Thanks.